Welcome back to 30 Days. It's that time again for for Quad B as we have all the Warcraft you could ever, ever, ever wished right here, right on your video on the man. My name is Ace back here, and uh, I'm going to do the coverage for today. It's Grubby versus Teeny. Grubby, of course, coming out as the Orc. Teeny as the Night Elf and the Run Turtle Rock. But look at these spawns once again. Like, I don't know. You could you could throw a rock between these, these two bases. It's, they're that close to one another. And this is going to be interesting, considering it's Night Elf versus, uh, well, Orc. So Grubby, ra uh, Raiders, of course, will be uh, the main goal for him. And uh, Satini will need to rush those uh, Druids of the Talon very, 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 very quickly, considering, well, if you haven't learned by now, Orc is very problematic when it comes to uh, take, uh, when it comes to uh, Night Elves. As uh, we already have Altar of the Storm, so concerning is versus Night Elf, that's definitely going to be a uh, a Blade Master. Teeny, his Elder of, Elder of Elders is up. Even if he does go for a uh, for a Demon Hunter, it won't do him much good, considering how he is going to go for a Demon Hunter, because the Mana Burn is not going to do that much on towards the uh, the Blade Master, since the uh, the Windwalk ability is is so low. And look at that; they will scout each other out straight away, right off the bat. As uh, this wisp just sits behind the base, does he actually know that Grubby is there? Uh, let's see whether or not we can actually see. Well, I, I don't. I think he does have an idea though that he's there. But we already have the first peon going around and knowing where everything is. This Ancient of War is getting his first charger out, and uh, with this uh, Demon Hunter queued up right behind it, let's see what this peon is up to. I see what he's ready. going to do. And he's actually going for a bit of harassment towards these wisps. And if you bash into what's moving well, but aside enemy. from that, yeah, it's not really all that interesting. The Agent of War starts creeping, or at least tanking. Creeps. As uh, the Demon Hunter should come out any second now, as the Agent of Wonders now comes out as well. Let's see what we have on the other side. Voodoo Lounge and the Blade Master is now up as well. Windblock on the Blade Master. Really what you what you never regularly really expect. However, he's in a he could be in a pickle now, because we could be looking at a creep jack. No, not in time, as the Blade Master does try to go towards that general direction. Mana burn. Ooh. Near. Oh, that's a rat. Ooh, could he go for the Ancient of War? No, he does not have to go for it. As Grubby goes for a stronghold. As Grubby does go for a stronghold early on. Two, na two minutes and 20 seconds into the game. Extremely early once again. As he's already got a couple of grunts moving around the uh, moving around the map. As Grubby does get himself a Dust Repair and a Circle Nobility. Dust of appearance. It is almost night time, so the night elves will be able to uh, will spot it. As we will see a mana burn shortly, I guess. And he's got himself mantle of intelligence. Uh, okay, he's gonna wind walk out of there. Good call. Satina is going for his T two as well. Tree of Ages is coming complete. up. <coughs> both sides rushing out their T two, and they need to. They both need to do so because uh, Grubby can no cannot afford. Satini getting those uh, those druids of the Talon out early on, because that would crush his entire army. As uh, this archer is on the verge of dying, whereas the Moonwell does manage to heal him up. Just get a little bit of bashing again, and the other Moonwells are empty, so this one's going to die. And I see them with the dust of appearance as nighttime just kicks in. And the other, uh, it looks like the other one, no, the other uh, archer does get away. As uh, the Blade Master retreats, no, there's another archer right here. Is he going to get better harassed? No, because the Demon Hunter is a little bit too much, and he has been dusted. But he does do a little bit too much damage for uh, for Grubby's sake. And Grubby is a little bit low. 230 health on him. This is going on in his base. Stronghold, more barracks, just building up. But Grubby doesn't make it back towards the base. And uh, potions, uh, healing self. Yes, there we go. Healing self on towards himself and his units. And scroll of speed as well, which will do nicely. With a group of grunts trying to uh, take out any uh, any archers, considering the archers themselves are not that fast, two healing po healing cells even. And so the demon hunter only has himself the uh, mantle intelligence and the TP scroll. So tree of H's is almost done, but Grubby will be ahead a little bit with his stronghold, and he's already uh, yeah. Our warriors have engaged getting ahead the enemy fairly fairly quickly. Let's see how much uh, uh, ore he has. He's got 355 gold, 400 lumber. Grubby, once again, tries to go for a creep jack. No, he's actually trying to get these archers down. And he actually does. Oh, he doesn't manage to take one down. Ooh, did, he did complete. use his uh, speed scroll, but only managed to get on a one of the creep. units. We're and under he attack. did try to kill this archer, but this creep blocked away, and there's nothing you could do about that. And uh, the Orange Magi is not an option at this point. As Grubby goes for a Naga. So we have a Naga Sea Witch coming out, and it's Frost Arrow straight away from Grubby. 
taking it up from the tavern. And there it is, the, Sa the Naga. That could be interesting. Oh, he's going to s be able to slow down this Demon Hunter in the very, very near future. As at this rate, he'll actually... Ooh, Satini's going for a Keeper of the Grove and a Spear Lodge. He's going to go for a Spear Lodge. My apologies. Keeper of the Grove. But Grubby's not actually going for any Raiders, as, I, as far as I can see. Oh, he's got a Bestiary coming up, as well as Berserker Upgrade. So expect... Expect those raiders to be built soon. But this uh, Grubby's uh, Blade Master is finally on level 2. As uh, Naga is uh, almost behind him as well. Critical Strike on towards the Blade Master will add up a little bit. As uh, we'll have Lightning uh, on towards the, uh, Naga, the Naga after that. As uh, this Wisp is not going to survive very long. Let's take a look though. Work complete. That, that Keeper of the Grove could be very, very interesting. Especially with um, entangling roots, holding uh, holding units in place. Research Grubby gets his first raider on the map. Grubby's first raider is being trained, and he's going for an snare as well. There's a little bit of uh, and some engage some stuff going on. There's entangling roots on the keeper, as predicted. It will be nice get entangling the blade master. Work complete. Is up. The uh, Naga gets uh, gets mana burned, and if she gets entangled, then she will be in some big issue, big trouble, as she's going to go down at this rate. The uh, Demon Hunter does. Is she going? Yeah, she's going to go down, unless the Blade Master comes in and he does not have a staff of preservation. Can he block him off? It does look like it. Uh, tries to tries to mana burn once again on towards the Sim Naga. Here come the grunts. They need to block off the Demon Hunter. They need to block him off. Here comes the Raider. Here comes the Raider. Can he block him off? Yes, he will. Oh, as the Sea Witch Guts go down to the Mana Burn. Nicely done by the uh, by the Demon Hunter. Where did he go? He ran off. Very We're nicely done, attack. though. Very, very nice long. Very long Mana Burn right there. Research complete. <laughs> There's even a peon inside. <laughs> inside Satini's base. <laughs> that was cute. Grubby is uh, finally starting to creep up and needs his sword saying ready to go. His blade master. And he's got himself a, a talisman of evasion. The spirits of the earth guide. That's a very nice addition right there. But where well, we have we have huntresses, but where is everything else? Ancient of lore. And another range of lore. So there are the doors of the talent, the tree of eternity to as well. As Grubby's got his uh, Naga back on the map as well, as Spirit Walkers now as well. But uh, it's going to be extremely problematic, as well as pillage now as well. Work Satini's complete. going for dryads. It's anti, uh, anti. Uh, Our town is under yeah, attack. Yeah, more dryads. I don't. Mm. Curious, curious. Looks like Satini is trying something new here. As he's not been rushing out the dudes of the talent. Speed so coming up from Work the uh, from the blade master, and he's going to take out only one of the. Uh, of the uh, archers that were there, and the entangling roots does go down on one of the <laughs> raiders. That's annoying. Let's grab goes for Kodo. Uh, we have dudes of the claw now being we're trained as attack. well, and we have adapt training coming out now too. Research complete. As this raider is on the verge of dying, gets out just in time. There's no healing salve there. The skull of preservation does come off from the uh, from the druid of the grove, keeper of the grove. My apologies, and uh, managed to get out. And neither side did lose anything in that particular battle, but that raider is hurt fairly badly, and he'll need to fall back and uh, try to get some healing cells back off. Yeah, he just got healing cells by the naga, who's got war drums and spearlings on her, which is nice. But she needs to continue to creep up to get that uh, to get that fork lightning up. Is going to be problematic to say the least. Research complete. As uh, and Fork Lightning finally on towards the Sea Witch, as she's continuing to creep up. Level 2 Sea Witch, where's the, uh, the Blade Master? Uh, he's right there. Take a look at what Satini's doing. He's creeping as well, trying to get these uh, gargantuan sea turtle spawns down and trying to get more levels on towards his keeper. Uh, this uh, gargantuan spawn should have no problem uh, surviving. As he has been being rejuvenated, which is good, which is good for him. 
as more druids of the of the claw come out. This is a very different strategy versus orc. You generally would see druids of the talon being used, but now it's just druids of the claw, mass druids of the claw. Hmm. As uh, we do have two Kodos now as well, both with war drums. I don't think they stack. As the Grubby continues on, continues on keeping the Naga now on level three. Now fork lightning again on her. But look at that, more and more druids of the claw coming out. Like a ton of them on that, and they're actually going for the uh, level seven uh, spawn. <laughs> Shockwave right there. That that was uh, harsh on the uh, huntresses, but this uh, ogre lord really needs to die. The druids of the claw are taking damage. All oh, losing huntresses to a creep spawn. Oh dear. Research that is a shame. But the uh, the demon hunter does level up, but only level three. He could really, really use the upgrade. Also, these raiders are continuing to be rejuvenated, or spare link, my apologies. There's another level of frost arrow comes on towards the Naga, who's now on level 4. That, that Naga is looking very, very good. Let's see what uh, his blade master is up to, level 3. So, his second hero is actually a higher level than the, uh, uh, than the, uh, than, than his first one. And as the blade master is looking to kill, uh, to grab, uh, to put, grab, do a creep jack here. Is he going after the Warlord? It does look like it. Oh, misses it! No, he does manage to get it! Gets out of there in time. Nice! No, oh, and he gets the Huntress to boot. Very nicely done. Nice Creepjack. And kills the Huntress <laughs> on his way out. Very nicely done. As uh, Look at this. It looks like Robbie's looking for the final engagement right now. Koda. Koda in, uh, in, in the background. And we have the Spirit Links coming up. But his, uh, his uh, disentangling roots is gone. The... Uh, Satini has opted to TP back towards the base. Now, is that more We're druids of the claw are coming out from him? As he's leaving Grubby to creep up. And this could be a mistake, because you really do not want to have that Blade Master at a higher level than he already is. He's on level 4 at the moment. And if he leaves, if he levels up, in, oh, Speed Scroll, where are we going with that? Nowhere in particular, apparently. That's a bit of an awkward speed scroll. Not quite sure what he wanted to do with that. Unless he wanted to take this creep spawn, yeah. There's another level on of entangling roots and Satini. Who is looking We're to reek to go into the base? Yes, he is. He's going after the food lounge. A couple of towers there, and uh, <laughs> the uh, peons go straight in towards the burrows. The First buildings are already starting to die, and his burrow is not going to survive very long. His grubby is opting to do the same thing against the Ancient of the Lore. The Mark of the Claw is going to... Oh, TP back right away. Hello. Is, uh, here we go. The roar is being popped out. And uh, the Demon Hunter is trying to engage. We have uh, well, we have the War Drums and Roar coming out now on towards the Spirit Walkers as well. Nicely done as the Kodos managed to uh, eat the two of the Broods of the Claw. Very nicely done. And Nor, another TP comes in from the Staff of Preservation as this Druid of the Claw is being pulled back towards the Tree of Eternity. But his base is going to die at this rate. Tree of Wonders goes down. Very nicely done as these grunts are tearing through the ranks. This, uh, dru this, uh, this Keeper of the Grove cannot hold on for very long as uh, now it's his Grubby's turn to start harassing. And that Spirit Link is so powerful. He can hold on for a very, very, very long time. And once again, look at all these stacks. He's got so many heals on him, but he needs to get... If only, ca if only Satini can get abolished magic onto his Blade Master, which is not the case. There comes that. Sp there comes uh, the uh, the lightning once again from the Naga. As uh, these three Kodos in the back, they are eating these uh, Druids of the Claw nicely. Satini must not have expected that because he put those Druids of the Claw straight in the front line, which he should have done to begin with. But versus Kodos, it's just just difficult because it just takes him out of the game. And there's uh, more and more moon wells being attacked, and Satini's sitting in the back of the base thinking, um, okay, how am I going to do this then? The Demon Hunter. Through the claw being engaged. There we go, good game being called by Satini. He's being pushed back in towards his base, while Grubby slowly but steadily tears the base from under his feet. 
Good game by Grubby. Very nicely done, actually, with that Kodo, with those Kodos versus those uh, versus those Druids of the Claw. And once again, it's so difficult to counter uh, Orc if you are um, uh, well, if you if you don't go uh, Druids of the Talon as uh, as Night Elf. And this is just another example of why why it is so difficult because if you go Druids of the Claw, the enemy will just move Kodos on the map and eat them alive. Regardless, though, my name's been Ace Break here on Quad V for day number 27 of 30 days. Three more days to go, and then we are done. Yes, then we are, in fact, done. Hope you've enjoyed the match, and uh, I will see you tomorrow on day number 28. Good night.